We offer you deep historical information from history on YouTube channel. Subscribe. Now don't forget to turn on notifications. The Dungan Uprising is a reflection of ethnic and religious tensions in China throughout history. This uprising was the result of a conflict between the Dungan people and the Chinese government. Before beginning the analysis, it is important to understand who the Dungan people are. The Dungans are an ethnic group originally from northwest China and are predominantly Muslim. Throughout history, the Dungans have been an important part of China's ethnic and religious mosaic. However, in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, tensions between the Dungans and the Chinese government began to rise. The origins of the Dungan uprising begin with the weakening of China's Qing dynasty. By the late 19th century, Qing rule was on the verge of collapse, leading to insecurity and fighting between ethnic and religious groups in different parts of China. It was also during this period that the Dungans began to rebel against the Chinese government. One of the most important events of the Dungan Rebellion was the Great Dungan Rebellion, which began in 1862 and lasted for several years. This uprising took place in the region of East Turkestan, which is now part of Kazakhstan. The uprising was led by the Dungan leader Ma Hualong, who put up serious resistance to the Chinese government. However, the Qing government put an end to the Dungan rebellion by using force to suppress the uprising. However, the tensions between the Dungans and the Chinese government did not end. Throughout the 20th century, political and social changes in China affected the status of the Dungans and other minority groups. In particular, the rise to power of China's communist leadership brought new challenges and pressures on the Dungans and other minority groups. In particular, towards the end of the 20th century, the Dungans organized various protests against the Chinese government and fought to preserve their Muslim identity. However, the Chinese government took drastic measures to suppress such protests and increased restrictions on Dungan rights. Today, Dungans still live in different parts of China and struggle to maintain their ethnic and religious identity as they have throughout history. The Dungan Rebellion is an important event in understanding ethnic and religious diversity in China's history and highlights the complexity of the relationship between the Dungans and the Chinese government. Let us take a closer look at the details of the Dungan Uprising. At the time of the outbreak of the Great Dungan Rebellion, the Chinese Empire was experiencing various internal and external pressures. Factors such as the collapse of the Qing Dynasty, territorial losses, economic hardship and social unrest destabilized the country. In this environment, minority groups such as the Dungans began to voice their demands and rights. The Dungans had a strong presence, particularly in the East Turkestan region, and took advantage of the weakness of the Qing government to press their demands for autonomy. However, the Chinese government was determined to put down the rebellion harshly to demonstrate its determination to protect its territorial integrity. During the Great Dungan Rebellion, Dungan forces led by Ma Hualong captured several towns in the region and clashed with the Qing army. After the uprising began, the Dungans also launched attacks against local Han Chinese and other minority groups. This increased the scale and complexity of the rebellion. The Qing government sent a large military force to suppress the uprising. And after prolonged fighting, the Dungan resistance was broken. The uprising ended with the capture and execution of Ma Hualong. But tensions between the Dungans and the Chinese government continued. Throughout the century, political and ideological changes in China affected the status of the Dungans and other minority groups. In particular, the rise to power of the Chinese Communist Party brought policies that restricted the rights of ethnic and religious minorities. 
During this period, the Dungans also organized various acts of protest and resistance against the Chinese government. Today, Dungans still live in different parts of China and struggle to maintain their Muslim identity. However, the Chinese government continues to restrict the rights of ethnic and religious minorities, increasing tensions between the Dungans and other minority groups. The Dungan Uprising is an important event in Chinese history for understanding ethnic and religious diversity, social unrest, and the government's treatment of minority groups. It was an important turning point in the history of the Dungans and other minority groups, and its effects are still felt today. For a more detailed examination of the Dungan Uprising, we can look at various aspects of the events. Causes and Origins One of the main causes of the Dungan Rebellion was the collapse of the Qing dynasty and the social, economic and political repression in China. The weakness of the Qing dynasty encouraged demands for autonomy by various minority groups. In addition, Muslim minorities such as the Dungans resisted Qing rule to protect their religious and cultural rights. Leadership and Organization One of the leading figures in the Dungan rebellion was Ma Hualong. Ma Hualong was a highly respected leader among the Dungan people and played an important role in organizing the uprising. Under his leadership, the Dungans united and put up a strong resistance to Qing rule, development of the conflict. At the beginning of the rebellion, the Dungans fought primarily to protect their own land and challenge the authority of the Chinese government. Over time, however, the conflict spread to other ethnic groups in the area and escalated into a full-scale civil war. External Intervention The Dungan Uprising also involved a number of external powers. In particular, Russian-influenced Kazakh and Kyrgyz tribes supported the Dungans and helped spread the rebellion. This broadened the scope of the rebellion and put further pressure on the Chinese government. Consequences and impact. The consequences of the Dungan Rebellion are complex. On the one hand, the Qing government was able to suppress the rebellion and the Dungan leaders were punished. However, the uprising shaped the Chinese government's policies and approach to minority groups. Later, when the Chinese Communist Party came to power, minority rights were further restricted and the Dungans were also affected by this repression. Long-term impact and significance, the Dungan Uprising is an important turning point in Chinese history. It is a critical event in understanding China's ethnic and religious diversity, minority rights and government policies towards minorities. It can also be seen as a symbol of the Dungan's struggle to protect their identity and rights. These details can help us better understand the complexity and significance of the Dungan Uprising. It is an important source for understanding ethnic and religious dynamics in Chinese history, social unrest, and the government's treatment of minority groups. Structure and Dynamics of Dungan Society The Dungans have a unique social structure and cultural dynamics. The Muslim faith and Central Asian culture is one of the fundamental elements of Dungan society. In this context, family ties, social norms and religious rituals play an important role among the Dungans. The Dungan uprising shows how these community dynamics are affected in the context of conflict and resistance, policies and responses. The Chinese government's response and policies to the Dungan uprising had a major impact on the course of events. The use of military force to suppress the uprising led to mistrust and unrest among Dungans and other minority groups in the period that followed. In addition, the Chinese government's restrictive policies on minority rights led to increased resistance and protests among the Dungans. International dimension and impact. The Dungan uprising was not only a domestic issue in China, but also affected international relations. In particular, other Turkic peoples in Central Asia, influenced by Russia, showed solidarity with the Dungans and supported the uprising. 
This suggests that the events had a wider regional significance. Historiography and memory, the historiography of the Dungan uprising plays an important role in how the events are remembered and interpreted. Different perspectives and memory politics between the Chinese government and the Dungan community have shaped the meaning and impact of the events. In this context, the meaning and memory of the Dungan uprising are constantly being reshaped in the process of historiography. Therefore, a deeper study of the Dungan uprising provides an important opportunity to understand the ethnic, religious and political dynamics in Chinese history. It not only focuses on the relationship between the Dungans and the Chinese government, but also provides a window into China's multi-layered social structure and historical processes, socio-economic dynamics and injustices. Some of the causes of the Dungan Rebellion were socio-economic injustices and unfair practices. Despite their economically weak position, the Dungans were not treated equally with other groups in terms of taxes and obligations. Such injustices increased the motivation for the uprising and social unrest. Struggle for cultural identity and language. In addition to their conflict with the Chinese government, the Dungans also fought to preserve their cultural identity and language rights. In particular, Dungan, the language used by the Dungans, was suppressed by the Chinese government and Chinese was recognized as the dominant language. This further complicated the Dungan struggle to maintain their cultural identity, impact of diaspora and migration. After the Dungan uprising, many Dungans fled China and migrated to Central Asia and other countries. These diaspora communities illustrate how Dungan culture and identity took shape and persisted in different geographies. At the same time, the influence of diaspora Dungans on politics in China and how Dungan identity is perceived internationally is also important. Post-uprising period and reconstruction efforts. In the aftermath of the Dungan uprising, Dungans and other minority groups made efforts to rebuild their communities and sustain their lives restructuring their relationship with the Chinese government, reorganizing their communities, and preserving their cultural identity has been a long-term process for the Dungans. Historical memory and memorialization. Historical memory and memorialization of the Dungan uprising are important to the place of the events in social and cultural memory. Both the Chinese government and the Dungan community have different approaches to how the uprising is commemorated and remembered. This highlights the conflicts in the historiographical process and the importance of memory politics. In conclusion, a closer study of the Dungan uprising offers a rich resource for understanding ethnic, religious, and cultural dynamics in Chinese history. This event is not limited to the Dungans, but also provides an important window for understanding China's multiple identities and social structure. We offer you deep historical information from history on YouTube channel. Subscribe. Now don't forget to turn on notifications.